A discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll, along with other relics, have been found in desert caves in Israel. In the infinite depths of our planet lie ancient mysteries awaiting discovery. Hidden in the dark crevices of mystical caves, they have the power to rewrite history or challenge our understanding of the world. Join us as we show you 10 of the strangest things ever found in caves. Number 10. Ancient Human Dog Companionship Unearthed in the depths of France's Chauvet Cave, a discovery rewrites the story of human canine companionship. A pair of parallel tracks, one of a child's bare feet, and the other of a wolf or early dog date back 26,000 years, suggesting an alliance predating domestication. These tracks narrate a tale of a young explorer, aged between 8 to 10, navigating the cave's darkness with a wolfish friend, pausing to light the way. This scene challenges traditional views on human-wild, canid relations, hinting at a bond built on mutual respect and shared goals rather than dominance. The synchronized steps of child and canid hint at an early form of partnership, highlighting an enduring connection that transcends time. This snapshot from the past reveals that our ancestors and wolves were not just cohabitants of the earth but partners in survival, illustrating a profound kinship with the natural world that persists in our bond with dogs today. Number 9. The Hellfire Caves Nestled in the chalk hills of West Wickham, England, the Hellfire Caves weave a network of man-made tunnels and chambers shrouded in tales of the occult and the supernatural. Constructed in the 1750s by Sir Francis Dashwood, founder of the infamous Hellfire Club, these subterranean passages have long intrigued those fascinated by the club's rumored pagan rituals and secretive gatherings. The Hellfire Club, a group of society's elite, is said to have engaged in activities that flew in the face of 18th-century moral standards, including donning ceremonial robes and indulging in hedonistic pleasures. The cave's eerie atmosphere is amplified by legends of ghostly appearances and strange voices, with the story of Suki, a jilted bride-to-be who met her fate within these walls, persisting as a chilling reminder of the cave's storied past. Although concrete evidence of the club's rumored debaucheries remains elusive, the Hellfire Caves continue to captivate visitors with their mysterious legacy and the whispers of centuries-old secrets lying in the depths below. Number 8. Baby Dragons Nestled within Slovenia's vast karst cave system lives a creature of legend, the Olm, an aquatic salamander that resembles a mythical creature, often called the human fish. These remarkable beings thrive in complete darkness, their bodies elongated and eerily pale, evoking images of miniature dragons lurking in the subterranean waters of Europe. Blind and relying on sensitive tentacles to navigate and hunt, olms are a study in adaptation, living their entire lives in a larval state, a phenomenon known as neoteny. This means they retain juvenile features, such as external gills, into adulthood. With lifespans that can stretch over a hundred years, olms are among the longest living amphibians, Exclusive to the underground habitats of Slovenia, Italy, and Croatia, olms are perfectly adapted to their hidden world. Their bodies are fortified with calcium to ward off the cold, and their slow metabolism allows them to endure periods of scarcity, sometimes going years without food. Breeding is a rare event with females laying up to 70 eggs, making the recent discovery of over 20 oolum hatchlings in a Slovenian cave a significant and hopeful event for conservationists. These baby dragons are not just a marvel of nature, but a symbol of resilience and mystery, a reminder of the unseen wonders that dwell beneath our feet in the shadowy recesses of the earth. Number 7. Cannibalism in Goyet Cave In the shadowed depths of Belgium's Goyet Cave, late 19th and 20th century digs unearthed, not just Neanderthal remains and ancient artifacts, but a darker revelation, signs of cannibalism. Forensic scrutiny of these bones disclosed a narrative of survival and perhaps ritual. Stone tool marks across skulls and limbs narrated tales of flesh being skillfully removed, bones cracked open for marrow and skulls carefully cut to extract the brain. Such meticulous dismemberment suggests that for these Neanderthals, consuming their own was a calculated choice, spurred by necessity or deep-seated cultural rights. While the idea of cannibalism might unsettle us today, it's a practice that threads through the fabric of many ancient societies, each with its own motives, from dire need to complex rituals or asserting dominance. For the Neanderthals in Goyet Cave, this extreme survival strategy likely emerged as a response to the unforgiving Ice Age climates. This peek into our ancient past, though grim, enriches our understanding of human resilience 
and the breadth of our ancestral behaviors. It's a stark reminder of the lengths to which our predecessors went to endure, marking a profound chapter in the human saga that's both fascinating and deeply human. Number 6. Real Hobbits In 2003, the discovery of Homo floresiensis, affectionately dubbed hobbits due to their diminutive size, stunned the world. Unearthed in Indonesia's Liangbua Cave on Flores Island, these ancient beings stood merely about three feet tall in adulthood, originating from an ancestor similar to Homo erectus. They found themselves isolated on Flores nearly a million years ago, with their unique blend of primitive and advanced human-like features, from their small-brained, flat-skulled heads to their adept, tool-using hands. The hobbits challenge our understanding of human evolution. These tiny humans were proficient hunters, using complex tools to take down sizable prey like pygmy elephants. Despite some debate over whether these remains signify a distinct species or are merely a variant of modern humans, the consensus leans towards the former. The hobbits' unique physical characteristics set them apart not only from Homo sapiens, but also from their likely ancestor, Homo erectus. The phenomenon of island dwarfism offers a plausible explanation for their small size, showcasing evolution's capacity to diversify life in isolated environments. The legacy of Flores' hobbits lives on, not just in the annals of paleoanthropology, but also in the genetic makeup of present-day Southeast Asians, hinting at a complex web of human ancestry. Number 5. A Mummified Native American In the dawn of the War of 1812, a discovery in Kentucky's Salt Cave sparked widespread fascination. Not an artifact, but a Native American woman's ancient remains remarkably preserved. Her identity and story sparked debates. Some imagined her as a revered priestess or tribal leader. This discovery quickly transformed into a spectacle, with the landowner showcasing her as an attraction. By 1869, the remains were entrusted to the Southern Kentucky Medical Society, later undergoing an archaeological assessment. French anthropologist Maurice Delore speculated her to be an Aztec princess, although she's now believed to be Shawnee. The 1920s brought further insights through x-rays, hinting at her death by a brain hemorrhage from a head injury. Ultimately, the Smithsonian Museum became her final custodian, naming her the Lady of the Woods, or Great Shell Woman. She stands as a rare testament to the pre-Columbian era in the eastern woodlands. For two centuries, her story has intrigued those who seek to understand the rich tapestry of America's native heritage, her legacy enduring as a poignant symbol of the past mysteries and the resilience of its people. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In 2017, a team of archaeologists delved into the depths of northern Mexico's caves, where they encountered a sealed entrance, concealed by an immense boulder. Once inside, their discovery sent ripples through the scientific community and beyond. Among the expected human footprints, they found smaller, peculiar tracks, distinctly not of human origin. Pushing further into the cave's labyrinth, they came upon an object that seemed utterly misplaced in such ancient confines. Rumored to resemble a UFO, this bewildering find has since remained shrouded in mystery, sparking debates over its origins. A sophisticated prank or genuine evidence of ancient extraterrestrial visitations? Dive into the debate and share your insights below. Could this be the proof we've been seeking of life beyond our planet? Number 4. Romania's Movil Cave Deep beneath the Earth's surface, hidden away for over 5.5 million years, lies Romania's Movil Cave, a place that defies all expectations of life. Discovered accidentally in 1986, this subterranean world near the Black Sea boasts conditions that are harsh, to say the least complete darkness, minimal oxygen, and air thick with carbon dioxide, methane, and hydrogen sulfide. It's a place that seems like it should be lifeless. Yet, Movil Cave is anything but barren. Within its depths, scientists found an astonishing array of life. Blind spiders, eyeless insects, and pigment-free crustaceans have all made this inhospitable environment their home. These creatures have adapted to thrive in the absence of light, relying instead on a food web based on chemosynthetic bacteria. These microbes convert cave gases into energy, supporting a unique ecosystem that doesn't depend on sunlight at all. Movile Cave presents a world that seems alien, filled with life forms flourishing in conditions that would be lethal for surface dwellers. This discovery challenges our understanding of habitability, showing that life can persist in the most extreme conditions, independent of photosynthesis. Number 3. The Fire Mummies 
unearthed in secluded caves, an extraordinary ritual unveils itself through the fire mummies, a testament to ancient Filipino customs practiced by the Ibaloi and Kalanguya peoples. This unique form of mummification, driven by deep spiritual beliefs, transformed the deceased into revered ancestors, ushering them into the afterlife with the sanctity of fire. The meticulous process involved organ removal, desiccation by smoke and heat, and a final resting pose in a fetal position, signifying a return to the womb of nature. Positioned on a death chair, the body underwent a slow transformation under the caress of heated river stones, acquiring a distinctive dark hue from the smoke's embrace. This ritual, spanning from 1100 to 1400 CE, not only preserved the physical form but also the spiritual essence, as evidenced by over 300 discovered mummies adorned with tattoos symbolizing the connection between spirits, nature, and community. Secured in cave sanctuaries, these mummies, dressed and revered, continue to watch over their descendants, embodying a profound link between the past and present. The Kabayan mummies narrate a saga of reverence, innovation, and an indelible cultural legacy. Number two, the Paris catacombs. Underneath the vibrant life of Paris, there exists a darker, more solemn world. The Paris catacombs, often referred to as the Empire of the Dead, stretch beneath the city in an extensive network of tunnels. Here, the skeletal remains of over six million people rest, making it the world's most massive grave. This underground ossuary was created to solve the problem of overflowing cemeteries and to combat the spread of disease due to improper burials. Starting in 1786, the dead from overflowing cemeteries were moved to these abandoned quarries, with bones arranged in a meticulous order that now stretches through the catacombs haunting passageways. Although visitors can explore a small segment of this underground labyrinth, much of it remains a mystery, with only a fraction accessible and the rest shrouded in legends and tales of historical figures. The catacombs represent a unique chapter in Paris's history, where the past and present meet in the silent echoes of the city's foundations. Number 1. The Cave of Crystals In 2000, deep beneath Mexico's Naica Mountain, miners unearthed an astonishing sight, the Cave of Crystals. Buried 984 feet underground, this cavern hosts selenite crystals of mythical proportions, some towering at 39 feet tall and weighing up to 55 tons. These giant, translucent crystals create a landscape so surreal, it's been likened to Superman's Fortress of Solitude. The cave's extreme conditions, 122 degree F and 100% humidity, make it nearly impossible for humans to explore without specialized gear, limiting access to scientific investigations through remote technologies. The formation of this underground wonder dates back 26 million years, attributed to magma heating groundwater, which was saturated with minerals like anhydrite. Over millennia, cooling temperatures allowed anhydrite to dissolve and recrystallize into gypsum, fostering the growth of these monumental crystals. Situated above a magma chamber, the cave maintained the perfect conditions for these crystals to reach their enormous sizes over half a million years. While the cave of crystals remains largely inaccessible, ongoing research continues to peel back the layers of its mystique offering insights into the extraordinary natural processes that sculpt our planet's hidden marvels.